The reviews, the critique of To a High Court makes plain how scrap. The story of law students continues to be a departure from the norm then and now. The critique also discerned a reality. Law students are no longer allowed to challenge corporate wrongdoing or to exercise the judgment and values and skill without faculty supervision. That scrap did. The real challenge was how to craft uh, in pictures uh, a, a story that both reflected the depth and seriousness of the critique as well as the moral and ethical imperatives and legal imperatives that were involved in the story. And we had to do it in the form of the conventional form of a uh, trailer and its limitations, but also its opportunities to really find the heart of the story and to convey that to a viewer. The printer called. What time? Is there any coffee around here? Meal, steak and cheese. You want the red hots? Hold the red hearts, George. It's a long night. You mean three days and nights? Let's go. It's almost midnight, Saturday. We'll file these with the guard and split up with the press releases. Someone has to print it. George, we did it. The New York Times. To a high court has really brought to life law students navigating the litigation process in action and uh, in the process of doing so, making a positive social change and I think it's important for people to take away just how historic and monumental Scrap was in the history of legal education. It's not enough to witness wrongdoing. And it certainly is not enough to write about it through someone else. You have to do it, change it. You have to battle for it. George, it's not just the environment, it's a mentality. It's not right.